Uh, with his presidency facing another political and PR crisis, a new poll from Quinnipiac University shows President Trump's job approval rating sliding to near record negative levels. Just 36% of Americans right now approve of the job he's doing. 58%, as you saw, disapprove. All this comes is the fired FBI Director James Comey in a new letter to those at the agency that he led until basically 36 hours ago say he's not going to dwell on the handling of his abrupt departure, and they shouldn't either. This morning, ousted FBI Director James Comey, seen outside his home Wednesday, is breaking his silence. Writing in a letter to former colleagues, I have long believed that a president can fire an FBI director for any reason or for no reason at all. Adding, I'm not going to spend time on the decision or the way it was executed. I hope you won't either. It is done and I'll be fine, although I will miss you and the mission deeply. President Trump, for the first time, offering his own explanation on Comey's ouster while sitting down with Richard Nixon's Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger. Why did you fire Director Comey? Because he wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. The New York Times reporting Mr. Trump fumed when Comey publicly dismissed the president's wiretapping claim. I have no information that supports those tweets. The Times also reporting Comey was flabbergasted after the president accused former President Obama of wiretapping him, adding Comey told associates he believed the president was outside the realm of normal, even crazy. The White House saying the president was strongly inclined to remove Comey after watching his Capitol Hill testimony last week, then meeting with Deputy Attorney General Rob Rosenstein and Attorney General Jeff Sessions on Monday expressing his concerns that Comey should be fired. A White House spokeswoman saying the president's deliberations date back months. Like crowd. I think it's been an, er an erosion of confidence. Sarah Huckabee Sanders insisting Comey also faced opposition within his own ranks. The rank and file of the FBI had lost confidence in their director. But current and former agents dispute that. You're going to have people that like what the boss is doing and don't like what the boss is doing. But overall, I think uh, Director Comey had the support of the rank and file. And we're learning more about how even White House staffers were kept in the dark about the president's decision to dismiss Comey. A senior White House official telling NBC's Stephanie Rule many staffers, including some top aides, learned Comey's fate from cable news. Some of them frustrated not by what the president did, but how he handled it. A little more behind the scenes color from here at the White House. That senior White House official telling NBC News there was no internal meeting, no strategy session before Comey's fire was abruptly announced. And that during the White House's normal meeting the next day, Wednesday, led by the chief of staff, Reince Priebus, the Comey News was basically glanced over, leading officials here to complain that it should have been handled more eloquently and more elegantly, many fearing that this issue could swamp this presidency for weeks and perhaps for months. Matt and Savannah. Peter Alexander starting us off. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.